Now that you've heard, read and set up everything about Lumia Stream Overlays, you've probably noticed the button labeled HUD. HUD is a very fancy toy for any streamer, but what does it do and how do I set it up? With HUD you can bring your overlay directly to your screen, without using a browser source in OBS. That means you can see your overlay, which is never the case with an OBS overlay. This opens up completely new possibilities to make your stream more effective and interactive. For example, you can show your chat on your main screen and see directly what your viewers are writing without having to move your head left, right or up. You can keep an eye on your game and still interact with your viewers, or you can display your alerts directly. That way, you won't miss a follower while you're in the heat of the moment or your content gets a little louder. Another brand new feature are HFX, HUD effects. In the past, it was a problem to add cool jump scares or other visual effects. Mainly, you could only work with sounds because as a streamer you wouldn't see a suddenly appearing grimace if it was sent into your stream via OBS. That problem is now a thing of the past. With a HUD overlay, you can put those effects right on your screen, over your game or whatever you're doing. Setting up the HUD is quite simple. Go to Overlay in the left sidebar, click on Add New Overlay, give your overlay a name and choose the right canvas size and click once again Add New Overlay. Now you can choose to use the HFX actions we already prepared or make your own HUD effect. First, we will look at Lumia HFX as it is the easiest way to build. Just click Add Layer, then choose HFX and click on HFX Video. And automatically a full-size layer will appear. That's it for now in the overlay. Save and close the editor. From now on it will be brand new. Go to HFX in your left sidebar. Here you can now see at a glance all the ready-made HFX that you can use. You can also watch a preview. When you have decided on an HFX, click on Use. In our example, we want to create a jump scare, so I choose the Poppy jump scare. A new window pops up where you can choose whether you want to create a chat command, a Twitch point command or a Twitch extension command. If you want to make sure you won't be warned in chat that something is coming, we can recommend using the Lumia Stream extension commands for it, as it seems that Twitch doesn't post that redemption. Using a Twitch point command always triggers an automatic message that a user used a number of points. Because we focus on a jump scare, we choose an extension. So we click on the third option, use in a Twitch extension command. Now the app asks us what name we want to give the command and how many bits this command is worth. If we were to create a Twitch point command, we would be asked how many points it is worth. So we name the command scare me and set it to 500 bits. Now a confirmation pops up that the command has been created successfully. You can now find it under commands Twitch extensions. Here you only have to make fine adjustments. For example, whether a light reaction should take place and how long the command should run. You can still perform all other actions via the tabs, such as a chatbot message or pausing Spotify. Go back to overlay in the left sidebar. But now we don't open our overlay or import it to OBS. We click on Open as HUD on top of your overlay preview. A window pops up with several options. The first slider lets you adjust the opacity. If the HUD is too opaque for you, you can change the transparency here. If you don't want to have the HUD open all the time, you can create a hotkey to open and close the HUD. The default setting is ALT plus L. Now come two checkboxes. In the first one, you can choose if this should be the default HUD. You should select this for hotkeys or if you use the shortcut menu. In the second one, you can select if the HUD should be opened automatically when Lumia Stream is started. Last but not least, you can choose on which of your 20 screens you want the HUD to appear. 
That's it what you can set. Now click on open. Another window appears and tells you how to close the HUD again. To do this, simply right click Lumia in the system tray and select close HUD. Click on OK again to confirm. Now you will see in your taskbar that Lumia has opened another window in Windows. Depending on what you have selected in your HUD overlay, you will not see anything on the screen at first. If you now test your command, the HFX should appear on your screen. But that's not all you can do. If you want your own style of HFX on your screen, you can simply add it as well. You don't even need to change your already made jump scare overlay. You can add every video you like. Of course, it is advisable to use a web amp where you have already keyed out the background. So open your overlay, click on add layer, choose the general tab and add a video layer. Go to the right sidebar and expand the appearance tab. Click on the little symbol to make the layer fit to canvas. Now expand the video settings tab and click on change video. Now upload your video to the assets and select it when done. Below change video you can choose if the video should loop and play audio and adjust the volume. At last we hide the video layer by clicking the little eye in the left layer table. Save the overlay and close it. Head back to the Lumia Stream app and create your command. This time we name it Scare Me. We choose our bits value and change the type to no light change. Go to the overlay action tab, choose the type set layer visibility, choose the overlay you want to affect and under layer you pick the video layer we just created. Make sure the checkbox is ticked and change to set to on. Now we switch to the end tab and do the same. The only difference is that we make sure that the checkbox is unticked and showing set to off. Click add action and at the bottom apply. If you close your HUD, go back to overlay and open your overlay as HUD again. If you now test or redeem the command scare me, your own video will show on your screen. And if this wouldn't be enough, we also added a new tab into our Twitch extension. So your viewers can see with a glance if it is a normal sound or light redemption or an HFX redemption straight to your screen. This makes it easier for you to engage your viewers. Who doesn't want to bugger the streamer of their choice? You don't use the extension for your Twitch channel yet? Go to your Twitch creator dashboard, choose extension on the left sidebar and search for Lumia. Install the Lumia stream extension 0.5 and close that little window. Go to my extensions, find the Lumia extension in your list and click enable. Now you can choose how you want to add it to your Twitch design. Of course, you can do much more with HUD. You can add everything you can also add to an overlay. Just it will be on your screen and not imported to OBS. The only important thing for OBS is that you capture your screen and don't use game capture or window capture. Did you know we've got a show off channel on Discord? We would be happy if you show us your creations and HUD effects. Give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to see more tutorials about Lumia Stream and have a luminous day.